I'm just going to show you how to do a quick uh, wire wrapping. So I've chosen that to uh, wire wrap. It's a nice point. It's actually quite a nice thing. So what you do is you cut two pieces of silver plated copper wire and you make a cross. Uh, you can either make a cross or you can use some crimps like a very small crimp and you, what you do is you put it this is something I typically do over the counter for people it takes about five minutes or maybe a bit longer <laughs> depending how quickly you can get that crimp in the crimp just uh, gives you a nice so I'll show you and you sort of do it in the center you can see over there the small crimp I'll show you closer later I'll pause the picture um, I'm just gonna pause that now so I've crimped it here and then we got virtually like a, a cross <clears throat> so then what you do is you get your crystal in there and you then just wrap it around like that so you can see there and then we'll put another crimp on over there so there we are we've put the other crimp on so now i'm going to crimp it so it'll be together i'll show you another just pause it. so there i've done it um done on both sides i'm going to show you a better uh, picture when i'm finished so i've done the crimp on both sides and then i'll show you how to do the top Pause it there. Up there. There's the one side, so I'm going to put a crimp up on these two here, and then I'll pull it over and show you the end result over there. Okay, so now what we do, I've crimped it here. This is all caged in nicely here. You're then going to Put two pieces out and these two at the top we're going to make into the loop so you can put your string or your chain through and these pieces over here will wrap around around the crystal and I'll show you the once I've actually done the loop okay so we just use a pair of pliers like this with Thin nose so you can actually loop it around to so end up with a nice loop over there. That's the loop here. Just gonna pause it. So there's the loop here. So what I do put those pieces these two pieces over here which are going to wrap around. I wrap around like that and we'll do we just start going down you can see it's starting to go around there and then so it's now wrapped that way so it's fully caged in there over there. So these two pieces here we can cut off or we can turn this into a loop which we'll put on the front or the back. So I'll cut the one off and I'll, I'll show you how to do a loop. Okay, I've cut the one piece off. Now this we're going to turn into a loop. I'll show you how to do it. Okay, again using the thin nose like that to a very small circle into itself and very much like a butterfly's uh, they call it and you wind it into itself uh, if we can focus again like this turn around there we go there we are. Almost 
done. So you've created, I'll just put this behind there, you've created that. And then what we'll do is we then put it on the front like that. So then if you can see, it doesn't make a difference there. <clears throat> I'll take a picture of static of that and put it on. So yeah, you can literally do that in five minutes. And if you want, you can tighten up these edges if it's a bit loose. It's always good to put copper wire around the crystal because it boosts the piezo effect energetically. So, you know, test this stuff. So yeah, quick and easy how to do it. Um, I do have a booklet, I'll, I'll post it up as well so that you can download it if you want. Hope that was uh, helpful for you, how to wrap your favorite crystal. And uh, you can subscribe or share this easy way to actually do it. You just see if I put that behind. Yeah, just, there we go. Cool, thanks for watching.